Sometimes in your Android phone, you may want to use some application secretly. For example, you may want to use one Facebook account or Instagram account secretly. In this video, we'll be telling about one application that will help you to use other apps in your Android phone secretly. For this, you need to install one application. App link is given in the description. App name is Notepad Vault. You need to install this application. One thing is that if you are installing this application in your Android phone, it will show an icon like this Notepad. If anyone is seeing this application, they will think this is Notepad application. They will have no doubt. But actually, this is not Notepad application. This is App Hider application. Anyways, open this application. When you are opening this application for the first time, you will be asked to enter one password. Enter any 6 digit password. For example, I am entering one password. After that, down here you can see use fingerprint to unlock. It's better to turn this on. After that, click on confirm. When you are clicking on that, you will reach a page like this. This page is exactly like notepad application, but actually it is not. Now what you need to do is, you need to enter your password here. When you are entering password, you can see loading. Within few seconds, you will reach a page like this. Here you can see one plus button, click on this plus button. When you are clicking on this plus button, you can see every apps in your phone. Select the application which you want to clone. For example, I want to clone messenger. Just click on this messenger application and here you can see import, hide or dual. Click on this button. When you are clicking on that, you can see that app here. Important thing you should notice that now this app is working as dual app. That means in your Android phone list, you can see this application. Here that messenger app is there. Likewise, this messenger application is there in this notepad application also. If you don't want this application in your app list and you want this application only here, what you can do is again click on this application. When you are clicking on that, you can see one option hide. Click on this. When you are clicking on that, you will be asked to uninstall that application from your app list. Here you can see uninstall option. When you are clicking on that, this application will be deleted from your app list. After that, this application will be there here only. So that way you can hide this application or you can use as dual app also. That means for example, if I am using Facebook, in my normal app section, one Facebook app will be there. In that one account will be there. And in this application, one more Facebook account will be there. In that, you can log in with different account. No one can see that account. In this application, not only app hiding option is there. If you want to hide any file, you can do that also. Here you can see gallery option. Click on this button. After that, click on this confirm option. When you are clicking on that, you will reach your gallery. After that, from here, select any folder where you want to hide photos, videos or files. If you want to create new folder, you can do that also. Anyways, after selecting folder, click on use this folder. After that, here you can see yellow button. Click on this yellow button. When you are clicking on that, again, you will reach notepad application. And after that, enter password. Now you can see a page like this. Here, if you want to add photos, just click on this camera option. And here you can see plus button. Here you can see import photo or video. Just click on this. When you are clicking on that, you need to allow some permissions. Click allow. After that, from gallery, you can select whichever photos you want to hide. For example, I want to hide this photo. So I am selecting this photo. After that, you can see import option. When you are clicking on that, you can see a pop-up message like this. Here you can see allow button. Click on allow. When you are clicking on that, this file will appear here. After that, you cannot see this file in your normal phone gallery. Here only you can see this file. If you want to directly take photo or video, here camera option is there. Just click on this. You can take video. You can save this video directly in this application. Likewise, you can take photo also. And if you are using this application for hiding any applications, in settings, some more things you can do. Here you can see settings option. Click on this settings. And here you can see notification. If notification is coming, you can see that details in notification panel. So if anyone is seeing, they will know that you are using this application. In that case, what you can do is in notification, here you can see none option. Click on none. After that, no notification from this application will come. And one more option is there, hide from recent. It's better to turn on this. Normally, if you are clicking on this button, you can see recently used application. But after turning on that, if you are clicking on this button, you cannot see that application in this list. So if anyone is clicking on recent apps option also, they will not know you are using this application. So this way you can hide apps, photos, videos and other files in your Android phone easily. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you find it helpful, consider subscribing. See you in the next video.